be late. Oh. Good morning, my lovelies. Let's put the bins on so I'm not blind as a bat. Voila. You probably can't see me because we haven't got much lighting at the moment, but happy Sunday. Ay, ay, ay. As you all know, I'm not a morning person. The first thing I do know, actually, let's bring you in, shall we? See a bit of light? Maybe. It's far too early for you to be seeing me like this. It is quarter past eight on a Sunday morning. Fabulous. And the first thing I do know when I wake up, lab always goes on because otherwise oh, I can't see. But I like to put me little fairy lights straight on just to be a bit cosy, you know. And then first thing is first. It's a Sunday. I need a hot drink. So today's video, you still can't see me, but hey ho. Today's video, can we move ya? Is that a bit better? Maybe. Today's video, my lovelies, is going to be a little vlog style, self-love, self-care day. Just looking after ourselves, having like a pamper Sunday. And I think as you're watching this, well, if you watch it the day it goes up, it's Valentine's Day. So by all means, I hope you are having a lovely Valentine's, whether you are with your loved one or if you're not able to. Spend this time and focus on yourself because that's what I'll be doing. I'm going to be having a good old pamper. It's going to be two baths. I know that's a little bit extreme, but I like a morning bath just to wake me up. And then my evening bath is my pamper. And I have something new that I put in the bath, which... Don't laugh when you see it, it does look like something a five year old would have, but I don't care, I love it. So yes, I'm gonna get up. Let's go and light some candles. I think we'll go and light the candles in the hallway and then we shall go and do a drink. But yes, get comfy, it's probably gonna be a long one and I hope you enjoy the video. So we have our hot drink. Right, as you can probably see, I'm cocooned by cushions. I think, well, it's more like a comfort thing, I think, in a way. I used to put all the cushions off and then just spread out on the bed. But I think lockdown's continuing, and I'm not going to lie, it's been a little bit hard the past few weeks. So. I bulk out this side with cushions and then when I turn over and I want to like cuddle I just grab a cushion so yes yeah, so that's probably why I've got one two three four five six and one behind me seven cushions on my bed you would have seen them my lovelies we had a Bailey's macchiato you know me if it's a pamper day or I want to like just treat myself it's got to have a little bit of Bailey's in it so with today being Sunday it's upload day so what I'm going to do now, what's the time? We are almost there. I just need to make my thumbnail for the video and do the last bits and bobs. So I'm just going to chill here, bubbly for about 
half an hour I'd say get all my little bits and bobs and then what are we gonna do after I want to do an omelet I want to show you my omelet maker the one I got from B&M that I keep raving about and oh, I'm just so excited what do I have in it though I've got some smoked salmon or I've got bacon last time I done a bacon and mushroom one and then I done a bacon mushroom and stilton one we have normal cheese but I'm thinking what do I want I might do a smoked salmon one and then maybe like a bacon and mushroom one again because mum liked the bacon and mushroom. You probably see Mama G in this vlog as well. She'll be pottering around. But yes. Anyway, I need to stop talking about food. I need to get my Baileys down my neck first. I mean, come on. First drink of the day. And of course it's alcoholic. And then we'll catch up on our Insta. Do a little bit of YouTube admin. And then yeah, we shall get on with our morning. <laughs> So it is quite a bit later, it's actually 10 o'clock, oopsie, so I've caught up on all my Insta YouTube videos up, drinking me coffee, but I'm getting hungry now, that was like our morning FaceTime me and B, he's literally just woke up still in his pit well like me but i've been up for quite a bit now and trying to get a coherent sentence out of him first thing in the morning it's not his idea is because in his area he can't get mcdonald's delivered to him so he had this fab idea he was like you get mcdonald's delivered to you and then can you bring it to me and i was like no and he was like can you come make me a tea because it's very cold the whole of england at the moment has snow and guess what we still don't have snow Fabulous. All I want is a bit of snow. Is that too much to ask? Boris has taken everything else away from me. Can the universe give my little area a bit of snow? But yes, I am now going to. We're going to go to the kitchen and we're going to make some breakfast. Food in my belly time. Omelet time. Right. As I said, this is what you need in your life, Weight Watchers, 12 pound. We are gonna create some goodness. As I say, I'm probably gonna have a bacon and mushroom one with a smoked salmon, but Mama G doesn't like smoked salmon, so she won't be having that. So let's roll a time lapse and get these omelets cooking. we've just put the oil on the little omelette maker turn that on and you have to wait for the green light to go out drain off your bacon or any bits and bulbs that have possibly been in oil and then what i'm going to do is the majority of it is going to go in the big one we have cleaned the board before anyone says that board was used for salmon we have cleaned it but the majority is going to go in this one and then i think i'm going to have a little bit of mushroom in with me smoked salmon only a little bit but it is key to take the 
oil out because you don't want that oil in your omelette and making it all greasy. So that can go there. While that's heating up, we will chop the bacon. And as you will have seen, I've done a little bit of um, seasoning, just pink salt, pink Himalayan salt with some black pepper. Let's have a look. The only thing when I do the bacon, I tend to eat all the fat before it goes in. So yes. And this is well and truly crispy. But you know what? We lack like crispiness in our thing. Ay 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 ay. So yes. This is well and truly crispy, but you know me, I like my bacon crispy. I've had to do it separate, as I say, because Mama G will not eat smoked salmon. If anyone else does not like smoked salmon, please let me know in the comments. I love this smoked salmon. I said I wish I like octopus though. Octopus, well, I'm not putting octopus in a breakfast omelette because number one, that takes like 45 minutes to cook. And I don't think I could stomach fill it in and like, cleaning an octopus uh, this early morning. in the morning so not for, not for mama g anyway no mama g can do it on her own but she doesn't know how to do the tent calls and all no, that no, so no, 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 no. i need to put a little bit of fat in here so the omelette light has just gone out so that means it's reached the temperature when you first get the omelette maker oh my god i feel like i'm snooze it will smoke which isn't like bad is what you're supposed to do. When I first done it and it started smoking, I was like, oh my God, something's wrong with it. It weren't. It's just because it's where you're first using it. Right. The fact that it isn't cooked isn't going in. I will munch on that after. I mean, who cares about the restaurant? But we're going to add all of this in. Oh, that's a nice crispy. Food. And then, as I say, with these, you can literally put whatever you want in it. Last time we done it, we trialed it last week for a test run. And I actually put blue stilton in with mine. Mum didn't have it because she can't have the strong cheese. But um, I had the blue stilton in mine and it was delicious. So, bacon is going in, all except a couple of bits of fat because that is going in my belly beforehand. And then, just give it a good old mix. So as I say, we've got our bacon, our mushrooms, and we're literally now, let's try and pull you down so you can see a bit more of the omelette maker when it goes in. Be careful because it does get very hot. See that smoking? Woo! Right. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. And then shut the lid and there I am. Six to eight minutes, they say. I always check it after about three to four. You'll tell because it'll start to get. Oh my god, the snow's actually coming down quite a lot now. It's like a blizzard out there, but it's sleep, it's not setting. Anyway, this will take about six to eight minutes. Check it after three to four. You'll always be able to tell because the top, if it still looks a bit like translucent, it's not cooked yet. You don't want to be eating raw egg. But yes, I will check in when the first light is almost done. Right. So. Da, 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 da. <gasps> Voila! And literally, look at that non stick. Voila! So they are mum's omelettes. And then what you have to do is spray a little bit more oil, put the lid down, let it regain the heat, and then my ones can go in. So spray a little bit more on, pop the lid down. Oh, the green light's already out, but I think we'll wait a little bit just in case. And then, Mum can eat hers. You had two last time. Mm -hmm. Right, now let's put mine in. Let's bring you down because we're going to have the salmon and the food. What do you think? Thank you. Morning, viewers. <laughs> Good daughter making me breakfast. <laughs> right. So we're going to have bacon. Oh, I have a feeling that one might overflow. That's fabulous. Right. Let's see 
how these go because I may have overflowed it. And you know what? We might even have enough just for one extra little bacon one. So six minutes, let's go and see if they've overflowed because I think I have overflowed them a bit. Oh well. Oh my God, look at them. We're gonna bung the last one in as well because I think there's enough for it. Mama G can have an extra one or we'll go half. Whew, hot. Right. Oh my God. Sorry, Kernan. Look at them. They have come out pretty good, if I do say so, myself. We need to take some photos first because this is good for me. Let me take some photos and I'll be back. Right, so mum's one is calling. Let's go in with the good old bacon and mushroom. Oh my God. Look at how fluffy and airy that is, guys. I'm gonna call mum and show her how fluffy. Mum! Oh! Look how fluffy mine come out. Oh, that's What's yours written and mine's written? I've overfilled mine a bit. You can fill it actually up to the line and it don't And I've got next time I would like mine with loads of bacon. So well, there's another one cooking. I've managed to get an extra omelette out of it and that one's filled, so you've got another one coming. Oh, wow, what we filled with our uh, bacon? Yeah. You've got that smoked salmon, haven't you? Yeah. All right. I'll call you when your one's ready. All right, then. Thank you. Mmm. Oh, my God. I love omelettes, but the whole palaver of putting in the pan Flipping it over, it's like doing a pancake, ain't it? It never goes the way it should do. Right, let's try and smoke salmon one because I am excited for this. I just can't believe. I mean, look the fluffiness, all that goodness. Mm. Oh my god, I know mum doesn't like it, but that is delicious if I do so so myself. I'm gonna leave her the little corner cool bit there and she can. Try, we'll get her reaction on here, but oh my god, I might try because I've still got some smoked salmon left on the fish mothers. Um, might try it with some onion, they're phenomenal. You need, even if you can't go BM, just go online and type in Weight Watchers Omnit Maker or any Omnit Maker. I think in general, I don't think it has to be a Weight Watchers one. They are a lifesaver. Put it in as you see, don't stick. When you turn it off, turn it off, leave it to cool completely. And then what I do is spray some uh, washing up liquid or whatever very lightly and just go around it with kitchen towel and then dampen it a little bit and then wipe it clean because obviously you can't immerse it in water because it is electric. But you know what? I normally have crumpets uh, every morning for work because I never used to eat breakfast. But I have started to have a crumpet a day. If I can maybe do these mixtures the night before, so then all I've got to do in the morning is get up, turn it on and pour it in. I might start doing that because I can't be bothered at six o'clock in the morning to be faffing around cooking bacon, mushrooms, all of that. If I could do it the day before and then I just get like, might look for some little um, storage jars, like little, almost like little baby bottles in a way that are like ready mixed. And then I can just put all my mixture in in the mornings, pour it in, and I can have a nice substantial omelette for the morning ahead. Oh my god. What do you think of my omelettes, guys? What would you put in yours? Because. Don't speak with me, mouthful. Um, I am going to be doing like an omelette, top 10 omelettes maybe, more towards March, April when we're coming into spring for like quick and easy lunches. Let's just quickly check Mama's. Give hers a few more minutes. And yeah, let me know what you put in it. Any recipes that you would advise me to try. Mm. This is a good self care day. I'm giving myself good food. Had a bay's coffee. What more could you need? Bring your plate, the other one's almost done. See what she says. We're gonna try and get her reaction of the smoked salmon one. 
try that bit. I know you say you don't like it, but just try it. It's not a bit of you. I don't like that because we have salmon on so much bits. Yeah, but we have cooked salmon. Yeah, but I eat raw salmon in sushi. That's probably why. But I don't in sushi. I don't have raw salmon, do I? And voila. There is a look at her, she's got three omelettes today. Oh no, don't tell the viewers that <laughs> because viewers I am uh, dieting as you can see. Thank no, you. That is all done. So, I now. There she goes. Five the news. <laughs> that is all done. As I say, we're going to leave. I've just turned the omelette maker off. We're going to leave that to cool down. Normally takes. I'm not going to lie, it can take about an hour to cool down, so literally leave it with the lid up and then as I say, go over it with a bit of kitchen towel first and then spray a little bit of like washing up liquid, only a little bit because you don't want to get chemicals in it because obviously where it's not getting washed fully, you don't want chemicals in your food. So spray a little bit and then give it a good rinse after with a little bit of water and then go back in with your kitchen towel. And it's all done, so yes, that is my self care breakfast. I'm now gonna go back, eat the rest of this in bed, see what happens. Right, let's do this bed. Just watched some YouTube. I have, oh my god, and I found my, oh my god, right? I pulled an earring off yesterday. And I pulled the front ball bit off, which was fabulous. Could not find it for love nor money. And I've just found the thing. Wow. Right. Anyway, what was I saying? Just watched some YouTube. I just watched Anastasia's apartment tour. And right, I don't want this to be a downer because I know it's all about self-love today and everything like that. Let's turn those off now. But... There we go. You know, this is why I shouldn't watch videos like it because it does put me, not put me down, but you know when you think like, oh, like she is, how old is she, 20? And she is smashing life. Like go Anastasia. Like I've been watching her for years now and she's grown so much and she deserves all the world. But you know when you look at things and you're like, oh, she's five years younger than me, right? She's just got her own apartment. She is smashing life. And I know we all have things we want to achieve. And like, she probably has her struggles as well. But you know when you just think, oh my God, I'd love to live her life just for a day. Because I feel I'm um, five, well, six years uh, older than her. I'm hitting the wrong side of the 20s this year and I'm heading more towards the 30s which is very worrying I'm not gonna lie that is stressing me out but yeah I just think oh I'm probably not gonna get to that stage for a good few years like moving out is probably gonna be on the cards as I say what two three years maybe but no I don't want it like that so it is like I do get worried and I do feel like I'm very behind like in life where I should be but then I just think if Covid hadn't have happened I don't think I would have been here you know I don't think things would have panned out how they have now so I just try and keep myself sane to think you're where you're meant to be and as I say everything happens for a reason but yeah I just sometimes get a little bit down and think oh I see on my Facebook right I don't know if anyone else can relate all I'm seeing at the moment is people either moving out getting engaged or having a baby which is all fabulous and as I mean everyone is on like their own little path but then you've got me that's way too many cushions shining in it. They're going to go at the bottom of the bed. And then you've got me and I'm thinking, yes, I would love to move out and all that. But you know what my main thing is at the moment? When am I 
going to get on a plane and go on a holiday. I just need to feel the need to explore. I need to be in a new country. I need to just be having local cuisine food. This is where I make a right pig's ear trying to do this throw. Um, and I just feel like, yeah, I'm a little bit backwards. But I'm not going to moan. I'm having a right meal with this, as you can tell. I'm not going to have a moan because we're all on a path for a reason. And don't quite know what my reason is just yet. So, yes, as I say, look at this. I've just made me bed and now I'm climbing all over it sums up my life i'm trying to get everything organized and then i just jump all over it so yes um not gonna have a debbie downer but i did just watch it and i was like oh, oh why couldn't that be me because honestly when i move out oh my god that is gonna be like my thing i cannot wait to move out well obviously it's like gonna be weird because mum ain't gonna be there but like just to have my own space, be creative with my interior decor, have as many candles as I absolutely want to. Yeah, I can't wait for that at all. And anyway, I'm rambling. Now, let's run a morning bath to wake myself up then. Cure a time lapse where you'll see me in the bath. And normally what I do in the mornings is my journal. So, You've seen me on the bathroom floor before. I'm going to be back on the bathroom floor doing my journal, all right? So, my little setup is I literally put a towel down, put me wad of dressing gowns behind us, and then I run a bath. My morning baths, well, I say morning, it's just before 12 about now. Um, I don't put any bath bombs, I don't put candles, because that makes me sleepy. So, I literally just have a bit of bubble bath, which today, what are we going to use today? We'll go old school. Let's put some drumstick squashes in it, shall we? And yeah, this is literally just because I've got some filming to do later and I just can't film or get changed without having a bath, you know? So this is just a little bit, just to wake myself up. And then also, I am making a conscious decision to drink more water. So, I get so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning in his blue eyes. I'm losing sight because I am falling. I'm so deep down, deep down. And it's not a lie that I die. I can't hide. As you can tell I'm fully awake now right we're just gonna do a little bit of skincare this morning because I do actually need to put some slack on because I've got a few videos to film so you know me my skincare is more in the evenings so we're just gonna go in with a few simple simple basics you know what I mean you are quite far away I do apologize it is because the tripod I've got one of the legs stuck and I can't get it done. So that's fabulous. I'm going to have to try and ah, sort that out after. So I'll give you a brief overview of the products I use after I get up. But as I say, it's not a lot for the morning one, especially because I'm putting some makeup on. I don't want too much on my skin underneath. So that bath, Oh, normally a morning bath is like 20 to 25 minutes for me, but this morning it wasn't. 
I ended up being in there for about 40 minutes, which is not good. And I think that is why I don't feel so refreshed. So let's wake ourselves up. We've gone in with some face wipes. We're now gonna do a face mist. Strawberry scent, yes please. Lally. And then, you know the drill, we're gonna go in hot moisturizer, do I want today? Do I go in with my usual? That's a little bit thick. I'm thinking because I've got makeup to put on. What have we got here? Have we just got a little one? Gel moisturizer. Let's try this out. So this is one of the bits I got for Christmas. Thank you, Airwick. It's the Origins Ginseng Oil Free Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. So let's give this a go. Oh, it smells lovely. So how has your Sunday been so far, my lovelies? As I say, this will be Valentine's Day when you're watching this. So hope you are enjoying yourself. Remember, even if you are with a loved one, take some time for yourself. Love you. And Oh, oh, that's a bit cold. I have, as I say, a couple of videos to film. I have a Valentine's, kind of like a mini gift guide that would have already been up where I went to Howland, Home Bargains and The Range. I did go into B&M and do you know what? They didn't have anything. They was in the midst of changing the displays i can't get my words out there i had a mind blank i was in the middle of changing the displays so yeah it was kind of like a bit of mother's day easter but not a lot of valentine's day so that was a little bit disappointing but hey ho and i thought i popped to the range so we've got a few little bits from that and i've also hopefully i don't know if i'm gonna have time today i hope so because otherwise it just means I've got to wear makeup tomorrow for work and I can't be bothered with that. So I may have to go and pick up a next order because <laughs> you know I say you'll only ever see next on my channel in like autumn and winter. Yeah, because of lockdown, because I can't get out to any shops, next is the closest shop to where I work and they do click and collect. So I have got a little bit carried away. I've picked up some like Valentine's homeware. Cute, you would have seen these by now and also just some general homeware. And I don't know if I would have shown it yet, but I have got some baby's clothing. Um, no, there is no baby inside of me, but there will be a little baby in the family very, very soon. I believe April time, end of April. Fingers crossed, it is a little girl. I am so excited. So yes, I have been seeing bits. So like Next, Matalan, Etsy. I've been on there. Etsy have had some amazing little bits. And yeah, I kind of think I've got a bit carried away. I showed Brandon a quick overview of what I picked up because he was like, we'll just get a few things like from us. And oh my God, I showed him and he was like, Sham, what, what do you not get about a few little things? And I was like, well, they are little because they're so diddy. But I may have got a few too many. I've tried to get bits like that she will need. So like all necessities along with like some clothes and that. And just bits and bobs up until 12 months. So like 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9, 9 to 12. So there's like little bits for everything. And then we've got some cute little like bits that she can keep as she grows up and yeah i'm just so excited because i think i'm so undecided myself about children i may have them i may not it's not really at the forefront of mine or brandon's minds at the moment so i do love children so there will be bits i don't know if i will show it in the hall because i think she watches my videos so i don't want to see the baby's bits because i want to do it all as a big surprise so yes you may see me like quickly whacking them out the box but yes so excited for that and hopefully lockdown has been lifted by april and we can actually see the baby go out like you know just create memories and try and perk up 
the years because the best thing to come out of 2020 was that we found out a bubble was on the way anyway i'm rambling as per just put on some primark lip balm and you know what my lovelies you would have seen in the savers haul i picked up the garnier tissue masks in green tea i'm going to have them tonight but for the moment let's pop out without exposing myself eh and it's very hard because i have brandon's birthday presents there fabulous let's pop my chair in so all i've literally used is nivea face wipes and then the origins ginseng that i got at christmas so yes that is going to be me for the moment skincare wise let's pop that over there and oh avert avert we do not need to be that zoomed in let's put a bit of slap on this face shall we <sighs> it, my routine is so quick but it's just hassle but hey ho let's do it anyway <laughs> through stages with how I apply my base so I've gone through the stage of the normal brush I've gone through the stage of the toothbrush and I've gone through the stage of beauty blenders but lately I've kind of reverted back to my toothbrush I just love these I picked these up oh my god years ago on a website what was the website called weren't vanity planet that was my um skincare but yeah i've just kind of i've fallen back in love with how the toothbrush makes it look after i'm not gonna lie though needs a good wash but hey ho that is gonna be a task for another day so we literally just go in with me good old rimmel and then da, 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 da. As you will know, if you have seen the January faves, Charlotte Tilbury, um, what are you? The Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Powder in Fair. As I say, this was a gift. Well, it was from Brandon's sister, as I would have explained in the monthly favourites. She likes to trial loads of different bits of makeup. And if she doesn't like it, like makeup, skincare, hair care, she would take them to Brandon's mum's and then we would kind of just have a look through and see if there was anything we wanted to try. And I'm not going to lie, when I got this, it was practically brand new. And yes, we're at Pan. So this is a favourite of mine, of which I'm kind of sad about because that then means that I need to repurchase it. And it isn't the cheapest, but it is a fab product. So as I say, we are filming today, so got to put a bit of slap on. Need to get me lashes on in a minute, so we'll put some glue on them. But for the moment, mascara, I don't really tend to buy loads of mascara because I don't really wear it. Like, I have my lashes and you'll see it only on my lower lashes. But what mascara are we doing today? It's the Rimmel Extra 3D Lash. Firm favourite love it and you know what i haven't actually worn any highlight for a while so we're filming the valentine's day the love hauls so let's put a little bit of shimmer on shall we oh my god i would say nyx nyx professional however you say it is my favorite all-time makeup brand number one they're affordable let's just make sure i'm not getting too carried away on my nose nah not too bad this the nyx illuminator this is in the shade narcissist and oh, gorgeous so affordable as well i have loved these well forever and a day if you ah sorry i'm just wrecking my makeup display if you would have remembered from my makeup collection last year i might do an updated one of them with an updated Alex Shores and skincare because it has changed quite a lot 
if you'd like to see that let me know um you would have known i got every single color liquid suede gloss from nyx and i just love it so we're gonna go with a bit of highlight lashes have the glue on they are drying as we speak and then now my lips are my lips feel moist now what um lip color should i go today do i chuck on a red because it's valentine's or do i go subtle hmm if i do a red lip it always has the tendency to go very wrong that is the one colour, as much as I love a red lip, I haven't mastered it. Hmm, what shall we do? Right, I think... So as I say, once again, Nyx, I've got the butter gloss, and then I've also got the lip luster. Should we go... This is either going to go one or two ways, so if you see me after, and I don't have a red lip, you know why. Let's give this a whirl. What do we think? I don't know. Because I don't do a red lip very often, when I do it, I do feel very meh. But, just needs to dry. It's very glossy, but I do like a red gloss lip. Right, let's put the lashes on now, shall we? Still need to wait for them to be a little bit more tacky. One done. Ah! <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh my god. Right, guys. Hold on. Ah, uh, it's got glue in my eye. I was just about to say. I've got putting lashes on down to a T without tweezers. But. My long nails used to be my tweezers. I could put them on and where my nails were long, they could like grip them. Now I've got tree stumps for fingernails, so I can't. Oh, I was doing so well. Right. So, I'm, I'm not happy with these nails. I'm really not. I don't like them being short, but I just thought because the one with the broken nail bed, I mean, look, I'm sorry. That's just... It's, an, it's a no-go. And then I tried to do it without cutting the rest. Didn't look right. I tried to put a false nail on it. And the glue stung like anything on where it had broke. So, yeah, that wasn't an option either. So, the only option I had was cut them all down. And I'm not enjoying it. I'm not liking it at all. I am quite lucky, though, because my nails do tend to grow fairly quick. So, fingers crossed. She says that and then they won't grow like I'm getting very flustered thinking about my nails not growing, but let's hope they do grow. So we just need to let these dry for a few minutes until they don't seem so tacky. And I'll tell you what, tonight, will I? I might actually know. Hold on, I can't be bothered to give them a full tidy up. Let's just give... I don't recommend this at home, like these are my eyebrows, they've been dodgy ever since lockdown finished, but they just needed a little trim up. I think when I do my next full pamper day, I'll give them like a full going over with my little revolution, but for now, yeah, they just needed a little trim and ow! Come on, don't do this to me. Just a little trim. That's fine. You will notice, it's probably because I'm lazy, I'm not going to lie. Don't really do much with my eyebrows. Do not do much at all. And then the last thing, I'm going to put a bit of a spritzer on my face. I think we'll go in with, what should we go in with? We'll go in with MAC, not the watermelon, because I've been trying to use a different one for Feb. The one I have been using... Da, 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 da. of which i have hardly any left it's just the original one 
smells like uh, vanilla, I think. Vanilla, vanilla. Right, oh, please don't stick my eye together. Thank you. We have that, and then the last step, a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. Sometimes I wear eyeliner. Old Shannon, like back in the day, would not leave the house without eyeliner. Nothing like a wing, because your girl can't do a wing to save her life. But I'd always have a bit of eyeliner pencil in my waterline. But you know what, I just think, I've got really little eyes and sometimes when I wear lashes, it makes my eyes look a lot smaller, even still. So I'm not going to, ow, don't break the mirror shirt. I'm not going to do that. And then the last step, even though it's not makeup, I say it's the last step in my makeup routine, is because if I don't do this, I can't see. And that is just giving me old bins a good clean because this is a nightmare and a half. I actually found some wipes that I've got in Savers. I got the Demista cloth from panshop.com, but I thought we'll go back to the wipes because the wipes, it's less hassle. Demista, I've still got to like wet them. Whereas this, you can wet them and then they just go off as normal. They just, is it dissolve, evaporate? I don't know what I'm waffling on about. And then, I do need an eye test as well. They keep emailing me saying, your eye test is overdue, but it's one of them things, isn't it? And I can't be bothered for the hassle. I've seen my local um, opticians, like the palaver when you go in, and I'm just not about that. They still do me for now. And there, oh my God, I can actually see myself. Let me also now sort out the barnet and then we're ready to film i think what am i gonna wear something red because it's a valentine's day haul so let's have a look what state this is in a sorry state to say the least you wouldn't think that i washed this yesterday honestly my hair i've never known it to get so greasy so quick lately i don't know if it's something in the air i don't know if it's because my colour's not as vibrant and I'm seeing my roots a lot more and I'm just thinking, ugh. But, we need to try and sort this barnet out. So, let's try and sort it out and then I'll probably check in with you. What will I check in? After I've filmed my first video because I don't actually know if I can do the second yet because I need to go and pick it up. So, yes. See you in a bit. <laughs> Whew. It is a lot later and... I know I said you would have seen me when I was dressed, but guess what? I filmed two videos and now I'm back in my dressing gown because I popped out to Next just after I finished filming. I had my text to say, yep, yeah, your stuff's ready. It started to snow here. It's not settling, it's just like sleep. But I underestimated how cold it was. My hands when I got in, and probably still now, were like little red sausages. And bearing in mind the coldness... So I had cold hands because my gloves weren't in the car. Having the mask on, my glasses were steamed. And yeah, it just wasn't a good look. Like by the time my pass was ready for me to get, I couldn't actually like feel them when I was trying to grip them. So yes, please ignore all these boxes. You will have seen this. This would have been in the next haul, which got a little bit carried away. And there was a few surprises in there that I didn't think. But my room at the moment is a mess. So we have the boxes there. We have bits there and then we have loads of bits down there so yes i think now i'm gonna need to try and put all this away um just called nan up north she is okay the snow is settling up there which she said is nice but it's not it's too cold she hasn't had her heating off and yeah she's quite chilly up there so bless her i'm gonna start dinner now because i am hungry but yes, let's roll over to the Sunday roast because I am hungry. Let's get some food. So obviously self-care day means good food. So we have got the huge bit of turkey left under there. I'm gonna have a lot of veggies. We're gonna have cabbage, sweet, parsnips, and then we've got roast potatoes. We've got some Yorkshires. Might even get some stuff in what was that? Let's go all out. It's a self-care day, right? So yes, I will probably check in with you 
once I've had my dinner. Actually, am I going to be having my bath before or after dinner? I don't know. If I have a bath before dinner, I'll be relaxed. If I have a bath after, I'm going to get really, really sleepy. And then I'm going to feel like a whale in the bath. So probably you'll see me next when I'm running the bath, the evening bath, where we're going to go all out. We're going to properly pamper ourselves and then we're going to come out, have dinner, strip all this makeup off, do a good bit of skincare and then try and find a new film or series on Netflix to watch. So yes, cue the second bath timeless the video. If you try. Wow, that was a very relaxing bar. Fell asleep once again and was woken with mum saying, Jan, dinner won't be long. So I was like, oh, that's my cue to wake up. Right, now it is evening time. So while we wait, doo -doo, while we wait for the dinner to finish off cooking, need to find something to watch as i say i don't know if i'm feeling starting a new series or possibly just another film i did watch a really good film last night it was called erin brockovich it's got julia roberts in who absolutely love her as an actress and it was actually based on a true story of i don't want to spoil it but it's like a single mum who has her problems and through her assistance kind of changed history in a way you could say if you've seen it, let me know down below because I absolutely loved it. It is a long film. It's about 2 hours and 10, just over. But yes, it was a very, very good. Now, the first thing I always do when I go on my laptop, you're probably going to think it's weird. I always have my calendar automatically open. And it always opens out to my YouTube calendar. So, God, that lights a Oh! Okay, we're just going to have a bit of light there. Sorry if I look like something from Most Haunted. And so today, as I say, I've done quite a bit of filming. So this is like my online calendar. Obviously, it's a calendar. But it's like my online diary. So I have all this colour-coded as um, my normal diary is. And I'm going through, I've managed to film two videos which would have already been up this week so I just need to edit them. I've got a couple for next week pre-filmed and then yes I just need to go through and tick off so that I know when I update my journal tomorrow morning what I need to do. So what I need to do as of today will just be to edit this week's two videos and also edit this video so that it's up in time for you when you need to see this and then I've got a couple that I've like kind of half filmed I just need to finish off the rest and then yeah there's quite a few hauls coming but they are coming towards the 
end of Feb looking at this and then early March we'll have a couple but I try to space them out because obviously where I do certain shops every month I don't want it to be like a week or two before you see it again so I try to I say try to have them at least a month apart sometimes depending on how I scheduled it they will fall about three weeks after the first one but I'm pretty much planned I say planned up until the end of March and then what I do on my calendar I have a tab which is like it's grey colour and that is for all possible ideas so that if I do have a month or a day where I think actually no I don't want to film that or I don't want to do that or my bank balance won't allow me to buy that then I always have backup so yes we're just going through looking at it you're gonna have what have we got there's another weekly food challenge oh little burn update as well if you'd have seen my cooking vlog you would have seen that I burnt myself it's gone to that weird it's that weird texture stage now but my girl at work says don't pick it let your body do what it's got to do so I'm just leaving it so we've got a couple more hauls coming towards the end of the month we've got another 30 pound weekly food shop from another supermarket we're ending it on a monthly favorites and then we've got what else have we got we've got a couple of chit chatty videos we've got a sit down and we've got something else that i've got lined up so yes we've got quite a bit anyway i'm going to stop rambling i need to go on netflix now and try to find something worth watching i know b has got amazon prime but i can't be bothered i'm just used to me netflix you know and all i've been adding recently is horror films <laughs> it's like shan we're not in october yet but I just keep adding horror films. I don't know what it is. And there's a film that I've added. It's two and a half hours long. It's called The Judge. But it's got Robert De Niro in it. Not Robert De Niro. Robert Downing Jr. That's it. Iron Man. And it looks really good. But I'm thinking two and a half hours. Really? I finished I Am A Killer. Oh my God. Hooked. Love it. People just. You never know what is going to make someone tick. Some of these people are the most ordinary, you could say. And then the slightest thing just ignites the fire. I do relate to them a lot on a personal level, to be honest. Because I do feel, when I've been listening to their stories, I do relate. Because I do feel sometimes I could be something like that. I could just lose control if I didn't have control, if that makes sense. Like, when that red mist comes down... If no one is there to stop me, I dread to think what I could be like or possibly do. I think everyone has in them. That's the scary thing. But some of these people, when I've watched them, you would never ever think. And they're so calm and they're so just blasé and just matter of fact, like, yeah, I, I killed him or I killed her. And then they'll ask why and they're so calm about it. And I think, oh. Brandon always says, like, I have the tendencies for a serial killer. So that's lovely. But I don't know. I am thinking a new series. What that may be, I don't know. I also watched a series was it earlier on in the week. And it was the most diabolical bank heist, Evil Genius. It's only a four pie. It was very short. Well, I think it was about three hours in total. I couldn't believe it. If you've seen it, please tell me your thoughts. But I just couldn't believe it from what I watched. And no one will ever know. Which is sad, in a way, because of what happened. You'll know what I mean if you've seen it. But, yeah, no one will ever know. And oh well. Sorry if I kept diverting my attention. I didn't think that I'd lit one of my candles. I thought it had gone out. But, yes. So, next step of self-care. While we're waiting for food, try and find a series, ideally. If not, we'll find a film. But, yes. I shall check in with you when dinner's almost ready. And we find something to watch. <laughs> Yummy, 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 I got food in my tummy. Look at my roast dinner, my lovelies. We've got the turkey, we've got the swede, we've got the cabbage, we've got the roast potatoes, we've got the parsnips and the Yorkshire puts. And I have found a series. A series that has been on my watch list forever and a day, to be perfectly honest. And that is 13 Reasons Why. Let me know if you've seen it, let me know if you've watched it. Is it worth watching the full four seasons? Because a lot of people I know have dropped off after season two. 
Hmm. Still going with me baby sham. So yes, a big part of self-care and self-love for me is stuffing my face with food. So we are going to roll a little time lapse of me eating and we shall catch up once I've eaten and I'm probably going to be like a stuffed piggy because my eyes are bigger than my belly but hey ho, it's Sunday day, it's fun day and it's the best food day of the week. So yes, sorry darling, clear score, let's eat and let's watch some Netflix. Well, I am halfway through the second episode. Wow, I'm really enjoying this. And <laughs> your girl's got some raw food. I've got some lemon cheesecake with a Tesco mango and passion fruit coolie. Mm -mm 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 -mm. mm -mm -mm -mm. Why not have a dessert? I've drunk all my bucks fees. I am, however, when I got out of the bath, I was melting. It was so hot. I think I'm going to go and revert back to putting the um, old pyjamas down because, there's Brandon, it's getting a bit nippy, it's getting a bit chilly. So I'm going to eat this, tuck myself under the throw, watch the rest of this episode, and what's the time? It's 8 o'clock. I might watch another one or two. Canon. Canon. There we go, darling. I might watch another one or two episodes and then we can do a little bit, well, a little bit, a big bit of skincare. As long as I'm in bed by like 11, then I should be all right because no doubt tonight is Sunday. So the woman upstairs will probably be back about quarter past 10. So there's no point in me trying to get a kit before that. By the time she's fannied around and banged about and done what she needs to do, we'll probably be about 11 ish. So. It's just gone eight now. I might watch another episode or two. That'll be about ten-ish. And then we can do some skincare. So yes, I'm very much enjoying myself pamper day. And I will check in with you. I want to eat me uh, dessert. Because why not? Your girl loves to eat. And it's Sunday. Why not have a dessert when we're trying to pamper ourselves? Eh? So yes. Shan, stop talking. Stuff your face. And let's watch some more Netflix. And I'll see you in a bit. <gasps> Right, it's quite a bit later, it's about quarter to eleven now. We need to get this off my face because I'm feeling very sleepy now, so. I don't know where my cloths are, which is fabulous. They can't all be in the wash, surely. I'm going to have to make do with the flow, so. I've got a new little favourite, Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I did pick up the rose one, which I've used quite a bit of, but as I said in my January favourites, the scent is just a bit too rosy for me, even though, yes, it is a rose product. So we're going to go in with the baby one today. The ring is off, right? Best feeling. Oh. Yes. Ow. Does that feel good to take them off? Right, so. I'm going to do a little bit of skincare. And I just realised <laughs> I didn't even use my puff strips. Fabulous, Shan. But I've left it way too late once again. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to be very basic i'm going to do cleansing balm micellar water moisturizer and plenty of lip balm because <gasps> i've had a long day and after that dinner and the dessert i am very sleepy so let's just roll my sleeves up for this i love this one because it's not like citrus. I don't know what the scent is. Right. Normally I scoop it out with my nails. I don't have nails, so let's just see how this goes, shall we? And put a bit there. And I learnt from the rose one, you really do not need a lot. 
because this is just fabulous and it's gonna take away all the cleanse oh my god it smells lovely just watch it all melt away all the slap gone oh. as I say normally when I do this I'll go in the bathroom and have my cloth and flannel but I don't really want to wake mum up so we're gonna have to like make do with how I can and then what I think I will do just go in with a little Nivea wipe just to try and take off the bulk after this and then we'll go in with my cellar water so let's just see yep that is gone only thing now <laughs> where I've bought that Elemis as I say the little one was just the mini size to test but I think after I've used that obviously I'm going to use the rose but I probably won't repurchase the rose just because of the scent but now I like it it's not good because it's not exactly <laughs> the cheapest of products but oh God, I've got hairs everywhere not exactly the cheapest of products but hey ho I don't really buy myself much skincare she says with the size of her collection but I do actually make my skincare last because I literally just alternate between products so as I say my Clinique is it's on the verge of running out but I have had it probably a good couple of years so who knows I need to pick up another one but I say I'll do that when we go to Boots and I can have like a proper shop around you know so oh. Oh. right and then same old classic we're gonna go in with Clinique Pep Start Moisturizer as I say apologies if that didn't focus without my glasses and blinders about we all know that Look at that, I'm a poet I didn't even know it. <laughs> ay, 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 I'm well too tired. I'm too sleepy for this. But, pop some moisturiser on. Yeah, I'm almost hitting the bottom of this now. But, I like this because it's a nice thick moisturiser. As I've said before, I literally, when I wake up in the mornings, I still feel it in my skin. So, especially with these cold days, this is the perfect one because... As you all know, I don't wear makeup to work, so I can put this on my skin when I have to go out in the coldness. I just feel like my skin is protected, you know. Get it down on the neck as well. Swipe my hands. I just realised I've got Christmas tea towel as well. I've got Olaf. Oh, well. And then the last step is to do. -do some lip balm i'm just really enjoying using the primark one at the moment aloe vera once again apologies if that didn't focus but yes primark needs to hurry up and open i miss all the necessities i miss all the cheap necessities that i just need in my life but yes oh oh god don't we look a state for sore eyes and then the most important thing just whacking my hair up. I can't be dealing with my hair loose when I sleep. But then saying that, did I wake up this morning with it loose? I can't remember. Most nights I like to have it up in just like a little low pony. Because otherwise I have had incidents in the night where I feel like I'm choking. Which I don't know why. It's very weird. But hey ho. And yes. Oh. Ow. So that is our little bit of skincare done. Normally what I do do some nights do do um, is read a chapter of my book but I'm going to have a nice read tomorrow morning before work so I'm not going to read any more tonight. I'm just going to tidy my dressing table up because as I say I done so well with keeping it tidy and now it's a little bit of a mess. So I'm going to give this a quick tidy up and then we shall be back in bed wrapped up 
finished watching probably the last little bit of my Netflix. I've only got 20 minutes left. I'm on episode six. Six episodes in one night. I've binged quite a bit. And then that will be the end of the video. So yes, let's jump back to being in bed, shall we? So my lovelies, I have finished episode six. It's getting all juicy now. Like it's actually a really good series, but it is now. way past my bedtime so i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope you've had a lovely day whatever you was doing and i hope you took a little bit of care for yourself as i say in probably march or april there will be a new updated morning and evening routine just like you know a spring edition because the skincare slowly starting to change the breakfasts are changing now with moving on to omelettes as opposed to crumpets but yes as i say you've just basically watched me stuff my face have a bath do some skincare and watch some netflix it's literally vlogmas but in february it's Februarymas. Februarymas, whatever it is it's valentine's day so it is a day to look after ourselves because yes as it is important to look after your loved ones the most important person to look after my lovelies is yourself always take time for yourself and i don't know it's hard i think at the moment to remember to take time and just take a step back relax refresh recharge your batteries and then go ahead with your day so i need to go to sleep because i've probably got to be up in about six hours for work Woohoo! and it's going to be absolutely freezing because the snow has settled only a tad but that means it's going to be like sludgy tomorrow but we're probably going to have torrential rain in the night so that's going to be fabulous too but yes if you did enjoy the video you know what to do guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment of your favorite bit of me day or please do let us know what you are up to today as i say how are you spending valentine's or whenever you're watching this how's your day been anyway but yes Take care. I'm going to get some shut eye and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.